Welcome back, people, to the Classic Tony channel. I hope you're enjoying yourselves, and I hope that you're doing well. Hope the day's going good. Um, we just left off. Uh, Luca are pushed. The nosy... I forget his fucking name. The really annoying... Yeah, see, guy? Into the goop, and he got a real, uh, real messed up, and they had to run away, so... Real, real crazy things happening. Um... That was intense. Iggy. That's his name. I knew, I thought I was going to call him Ziggy, but I was like, no, that's not right, Iggy. Iggy's going to be okay, right? Nothing about this seems okay. The person at the warehouse. The strange ooze and what it did to Iggy. Was Rolo caught up in all of this? Oh, no. We have to find Rolo. You took the words out of my mouth. Ooh, got stuck on, got stuck on nothing. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you here. The way I do this guy's voice is I go, Yugi boy. <laughs> he, he, he sounds like Pegasus, you know, from, from Yugi boy, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh yes. I'm the king of games. I am you. I am Pegasus. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa there, little buddies. You startled me. What in the dickens are you up to in this part of town? We were just helping look for Rollo. Oh, you haven't heard the good news? Rolo showed up safe and sound a bit ago. Really? So, where was he? It's really funny. <laughs> he just got a little turned around in the woods. <laughs> they can be disorienting, you know. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I almost, I almost just was like, I almost just did the peg. I was, I am I am starting. <laughs> I was like, no, don't do it. <laughs> I'm starting to get that impression. Rolo's at his. N Try that again. Rolo's at his house now, getting so well, des so well, des getting some well, well, des Sorry, I'm trying to do these voices on the fly. Sometimes I, I mess up a lot of those. Well deserved. Well deserved. Deserved. Hard to say deserved in that in that accent, but you know, gonna make it happen for y'all. Cause I love this game. I want to give these characters some great voices. Rolo's at his house now, getting some well deserved rest. Wow, that's a relief. You two should scurry along before you get lost yourselves. Yeah, come on, Beck. I can't wait to introduce you to Rolo. Oh, that reminds me. Luca, your grandmother was looking for you. She was? She was worried sick. You should march straight home. I guess. Peck, your folks might be getting worried too. I'll walk you home. I need to talk to Nelly about work anyways. Beck glanced toward Luca. <gasps> I guess all's well that ends well. I'll introduce you to Rolo tomorrow. Mm, sure. Mm, glad he's okay. Rolo was safe. Whew. Rolo's safe. That's all we had to worry about. Folks, that's all we wanted at the end of the day, right? But what happened? A wave of relief washed over Luca, which was quickly replaced by a sense of dread. As it should be, because what happened? Gran is going to kill me. Oh, that too. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about Gran. Forgot about her. She's she she's important. She she matters. If he hurried, he might just make <laughs> it home before sundown. Chapter four. I would say a grandmother scorned is worse than a mother as well, too. Grands, you know, they, they hit 
hit a, they 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 cut a little bit deeper when they when the, with the insults and such you know they make you feel like oof sorry grandma like I, I love you but you know it's like oh you don't love your grandmother do you you would show up and drive me places <laughs> and uh yeah 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 I love you too grandma yeah but you know it, it, so is life and you gotta move on funny story actually I just uh recently my mom she got uh they have Xfinity I fucking hate Xfinity I fucking hate Xfinity um but anyway they just got Xfinity and she got the voice something remote that you can like talk into and so she was trying to figure out a movie and she was like I don't know I don't know how I, I don't know why I'm in my mother's I'm British but she was just like I don't know how to find the movie how do I find the movie and I just said oh just say it into the remote she was like movie and I was like no 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 like push the button and 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 do this and do and, and, and say what movie you want she pushed the button she goes movie <laughs> and so she put it it's like it's like a, a, a click and then movie and i'm like mom you're just gonna get a list of all the movies like you have to say the one you want she's like i don't know what one i want i want to look through them and i go oh okay so what kind of movie do you want and so she goes oh maybe something about uh, world war ii something interesting historical and i go oh okay okay i got you i got you i got you I, again, I don't know why I'm making my mother British in this scenario. I just can't think of any other voice to do. And <laughs> she goes, she goes, so, so, ha, so, so, how do I find that kind of movie? And I just take the remote and I go, movies about World War II, specifically what happened in Paris, and and up pop like two hundred, you know, a hundred something movies about World War II, something like that. And she just stands there with her eyes i've never seen my mother's her eyes widened like a child on christmas morning i was like i was i look over and she's just silent i was like i was like that good and she was like i love that and just was blown away at just the simplest little like yeah you can just search like you just say your your thought you say your prompt you don't even have to be specific she was like oh, that is amazing so you know that made me smile i was like oh well i'm glad I, I could show you that and i'm sure she's going to continue to lose her mind every time she wants to find another movie so let's continue our harvest awaits luca took a deep breath and gingerly opened the door stealing himself for gran's wrath let's see what happens with gran gran i'm home Everything's fine. Gran? She's got a fire going. She always keeps the fire going. Gran? I know I wasn't supposed to go anywhere. I was just helping look for Rolo. I'm trying to make it sound like he's yelling in the house. It's a little quiet, but I think I'm 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 raising his voice a little too much. Just not outside. Gran? Roxy came over. She was worried about him. So I figured you wouldn't mind if I helped look for him. It turns out Rolo is safe and sound. Luca was alone. <gasps> oh no. The house was empty. <gasps> Cutie pie, not right now. This is a, it's, it's important that we don't deal with you right now. I think I may actually do turn that off right now. I'm gonna be right back. Apologies. Uh, uh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Just had to change some things real quick. Hopefully, we won't be interrupted anymore during this cozy little storytelling session. I don't know why I'm whispering. I just think it adds to the ambiance of the story because Luca is home. Alone, his house was empty. So, Gran's not back yet. I guess that's a good thing. Nothing to do now but sleep, I guess. Luca was sitting by the pond. Luca was sleeping in his bed. Ah, but yet we have a dream sequence. Sorry, that faint, that faint music. Very nice. Don't know if you can hear that without headphones, but listening to small waves lap against a rock. I think I think I uh, I have an idea. Let's.
just for just this once, just for this, because we don't need to see this. But let's all just close our eyes and enjoy this little part of the story. His father sat in a folding chair in front of him. Without turning, he spoke. Why don't you grab me some nice bait? Sure thing, Dad. Luca hopped over to the tackle box and popped open the lid. Inside was a rolling, buzzing mass. We're fishing with bees? Luca's father gave a warm chuckle. <laughs> well, you catch more fish with bees than honey. Pick us out a good one. Luca closed his eyes and plucked out a bee. He could feel its wings struggle between his finger and thumb. Holding it at arm's length, he hurried over. His father deftly baited the hook and examined his work. Interesting choice. With a practiced flick of the wrist, the line buzzed in a graceful arc. The water accepted it without a splash or ripple. The wrong choice, but I respect it. The pond began to freeze over. Sometimes we gotta make the wrong choice before we can make it right. Pallid ice propagated across the still surface with an alarming speed. Luca scrambled back as the ground beneath him turned cold. Dad, I don't understand. Sorry, kiddo. Understanding isn't always part of the deal. The relentless ice shot through the fishing line toward his father. Dad, look out! His father casually wound the reel. None of it's your fault, you know. Never was. Dad, we have to go! Luca grabbed his father's shoulders, trying to pull him away. Please, you have to run! The ice crackled as it spread across his father's hands. That's the thing about fishing, Luca. His chest began to crystallize. You toss your hook in, and you never know what you're gonna pull out. A shock of searing cold ran up Luca's arms. He gave one last desperate tug. The chair tipped backwards in a single frozen mass. Luca tried to stop the momentum, but it was too late. He watched the icy form of his father slam into the hard ground, shattering into a thousand pieces that crowded around his feet. Dad, I don't understand. What does all this mean? The gentle rustle of leaves was the only reply. And what is happening now? Luca's eyes struggled to focus on the walkie-talkie. Rollo? Rollo? Faintly, he could hear Rollo amongst the noise. I have an idea. Luca! Luca! Rollo, is that you? I think I'm going to lower the volume because this is really bothering me. I think that sounds a lot better. I hope you agree. Actually, I don't know what this is tied to. It's only tied to like master volume. So I'm gonna turn the master volume way down. We'll turn it up if we uh, if we have to for the uh, narrator, because that's what I'm worried about most. Rolo, is that you? Luga. There. Rolo, it's the middle of the night. Luga, thank God. Listen, I don't know how long this thing will work down here. Down here? Rolo's voice was coming through more clearly now. Huh? But some words were still just static. Uh, listen to me. Someone grabbed me yesterday. What? The man in the hazmat suit? It was... 
<laughs> I know that isn't. I'm just gonna. I, I think I'm gonna cut out the uh, the the. I think I'm gonna cut out the uh, what's it called the the. the Oh, what's his name? Uh, the, 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 oh, Krabby! Krabby from Pokemon, from the original Pokemon. Cookie, 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 cookie. No, now, see, now I remember it, so now I gotta keep it in, so we're, we're gonna keep it in. It was... Uh, it took me some sort of... I think I'm underground. Underground? Are you okay? Kind of. They seem more interested... For now, at least. Mr. Kerr said you made it back home safe. Kerr? No. Trust. He's. Hold on. Someone's coming. Rolo? Rolo, where are you? Luca held still, waiting for a response. His pounding heartbeat marking the passage of time. Okay. I, I, th I think they're gone. <coughs> Getting worse. I can barely hear you. Began to fade. <coughs> Losing signal. Not much time. <coughs> Mission control. <coughs> You need to the tree house. The tree house. The signal died for good. What was he trying to say about the tree house? What's at the tree house? The antenna. He wanted me to use the antenna in the tree house to get a better signal. Rolo, you're a genius. Luca grabbed the walkie-talkie and sprinted to the treehouse. <gasps> it's gonna gonna take us there? No, we're gonna of course gonna have to take that walk. And I mm, we can we 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 can we can go a little bit further. I think I'm looking at the time. I I think I got a little bit of time. I think this this it, it'd be short otherwise. So. I heard a group of <gasps> footsteps approaching. Footsteps. I wonder whose they could be. He dashed behind the bushes to avoid being spotted. <gasps> Get out of there, Luca. Oh, it's our dear old grandmother. Oh, and some new people I get to voice. Hopefully, we uh, we we. As you probably have realized, I I don't have too many voices. I only have the few. <laughs> the few, the proud, the lame. And so they are not uh, all that original. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay. These characters don't come up a lot. It's okay if we repeat voices. I'm okay with that. I just want you guys to see this game and uh, have some fun. So, hope you're doing that. Appreciate it. So, we'll all understand our roles. Yeah, can count on me. Uh, I, 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 I think... I think that's a, a like a Homer, like a like a like a little silly Homer voice. I think that'd be that'd be kind of, kind of bit of you know like like he's kind of nervous, but he's also kind of kind of slow. But he's not slow like that. He's slow. Okay, I think that'll work. I hope I don't leave that in. That was very rude. I don't mean it like that. I was just trying to get into because Homer. You, you if you watch the Simpsons, you know that Homer. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk. No. I still think we need more time. This wasn't the original plan. Mr. Tolliver paused, <gasps> shifting his eyes to one side. We're all in danger now. I, for one, refuse to sit idly by while the danger persists. Refuse? Mm, little sassy. Little, little sassy. Little arms crossed sassy man. Hera, you just keep your wits about you. Mr. Tolliver took one long, quiet breath. So quiet. Sorry. You're right. You you're right. You you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Maybe I'll give him a little. I don't know. I liked I liked the Homer voice. I think that was a pretty good voice for him. Yeah, that was a pretty good voice for him. I'm just gonna have to remember it because his 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 his, his little doesn't sound this deep. So hopefully I remember his voice. I, I, if I get it wrong, I apologize. He doesn't have a ton of speaking lines. You're right. You can count on me. 
I just wish we could have made that deal with Harice Valentine. Her resource could have still come in handy. As I said, I had no time to contact her after you called this morning. Plans change. How is Luca holding up? He's fine. We shouldn't lose sight of the fact that this is all... I know very well what all of this is for. We have no choice. Operation Sparkplug has a new objective. Are we in agreement? The three shared a determined look. Mm. Good. We will, will, I'll try that tentative again. We'll reconvene after the festival. Wonder what Operation Sparkplug might be. It's a very nefarious plan. Nothing real. Gran, why are you meeting with Mrs. Ferrelli and Mr. Tolliver late at night? Hi, Luca. <gasps> Dawn, you scared me. How long have you been there? Oh, just a few minutes. Earlier today, I saw Mr. Tolliver and your Gran enter the diner together. And my... Sh Try that one more time. When my fish at the when my shift when my fish when my fish at the newsstand when my fish flopping fish on the newsstand I'm gonna wrap the fish in newspaper. <laughs> yes, delicious fish wrapped in newspaper. Yes, thank you. I will eat it. I will try that sentence again in this cute, adorable little bat's voice. I love you, Dawn. <laughs> when my shift at the newsstand was over, they still hadn't left. I used the greatest tool of any investigative reporter. Hmm. When they left, I tailed them. Here. What do you think they're up to? Whatever it is, they seem organized and determined. They mentioned the festival. Yeah, I heard that too. Has your grand been doing anything different recently? Anything strange? She got a phone call this morning and... Rushed out the door. A call from Harmon Tulliver? Harriman? Harriman. 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 I'm a Harriman. Hair. I'm in. I got a hair. I got a hair in my chin that just needs to come out. I have an ingrown hair in my chin that's driving me crazy. Hair in my chin. <coughs> a call from Harriman Tulliver, it seems. Try that one more time. She with the. She was. Blah, 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 blah. She would be furious at me for trying to do this sentence. These two voices going back and forth between the high and the low is just really annoying. Even though this is just my normal speaking voice, going to take a deep breath, get this right. Whew. She was the. Blah, blah, blah. One more time. One more time. One more time. I wanna celebrate. Wanna celebrate. Celebrate. Wanna celebrate. Okay, we're good. We're good. She was either furious or terrified. Or both. Luca, be careful out there. I think we might be in the middle of the scoop of a lifetime. I will. Aren't you coming out? Ah, I'm gonna stay out here for a little bit longer. See you, Luca. See you, Dawn. You journalist, you little adorable journalist. And you know what? I think that's a perfect place to stop. I think that that's going to be it. I uh, I think I missed. I, I don't know. I'm trying to keep an eye on. I hope that's long enough. I don't know. But you know what? It's okay. Because, you know, there's always next time. And I have no idea, you know, what's going to what's gonna happen in the next episode. Who, I, don't, I don't know. Who knows? You're just going to have to come back and enjoy it. And I hope you're enjoying this because so am I. Um, and yeah, just so you know, character voices are hard and they're gonna change but that's okay because i hope you're enjoying yourselves and I'm, I'm having a great time and that's all that matters at the end of the day is that we have fun together and you know these voices they're gonna be you know different they're gonna vary i'm gonna try and keep them consistent especially for the, the characters who show up a lot but you know i'm trying my best and i think it's really gonna have we're, i'm having fun so that's the most important thing so hope you enjoy and hope you come back next time so as always take it easy and peace